everyone. This is a uh, quick hands-on demo with this uh, power surge protector from Enton Power. Uh, the reason you would want something like this is in case your line has a surge of power, go back to it. So for example, a, a common one is lightning. Lightning could hit a line and send a bunch of power back and it would fry your PC or your peripherals, your phone, like all these important things that we have plugged in commonly into just like basic power strips. So the surge protector essentially absorbs all of that and protects these really expensive devices that you uh, have plugged in. Now, the cool thing about this one is it's got a lot of extra functionality with it. So we've got first off four USB ports, which makes it really nice. If you're going to be using this as like a desk uh, accessory, uh, I have my phone charging right now. Uh, if your phone didn't have like a normal USB type A um, connection right here, then you could plug in your brick uh, like this, which, you know, many phones come with. It does not have USB uh, type C plugins, just type A, like the normal types here. So you've got four of those, and then you've got 16 AC outlets here. And uh, this whole thing can push out, I believe, 1,875 watts. So it can push out a lot of power. Uh, and if by chance you find a way to plug in enough devices, powerful enough that it's too much, it's actually got this protection right here. So you'll see this little button uh, that will pop out if too much power, if it's, if it's exceeded the supply, uh, it'll just shut off. And the beauty of that versus again, uh, you know, people rigging together a bunch of power strips together. If you're plugging in too much, you could blow the line and that is expensive to replace. You got to get an electrician and whatnot. It's much better to mess up with something like this because again, you're not even going to damage this. It will just shut off when it uh, detects too much power going through. Uh, but you can see I've got a lot of, uh, you know, devices here. I've got my batteries charging for my cameras. Uh, and then back here, I've got this lamp plugged in. And another cool thing about this is these uh, switches. So every side you can choose to have all of them on or some of them on. Uh, so if there's certain things that you're just not using and you want to save power, you can just hit that and turn it off. So you can see this side is off. That's nice for stuff like this floor lamp here, which doesn't have an on off switch included. I would have to bend down and keep unplugging it whenever I don't want to use those lights. Well, the beauty is, is now on this side, I can just say, hey, I've got this plugged in right here. Turn that off, done, the light's off. I don't have to keep bending down and turn stuff off. I can just hit that right there. Now, if you are going to have a lot of cables plugged into this, it's gonna start to not be so attractive. Obviously still serve its purpose, but it's not gonna look as good. Uh, and that's where you can get creative. Obviously you can put it behind a PC, like over in this corner, I could do that. And that way everything's plugged in but I'm not seeing it from this view. Uh, the other thing you could do is kind of jerry rig together a little bit of uh, Velcro. Like you can buy some heavy duty Velcro. Uh, I've seen people do this where they'll then just mount this underneath their desk like that. And you can have it up close, you know, with the USB ports facing out, or you can push it back on the desk more and just hang it upside down and still have all of the functionality. Just make sure you're using something that's sturdy enough and strong enough to hold this up because it is a fairly heavy duty uh, item here. It's not, it's not super lightweight. It's also not super heavy, but uh, yeah, that's the uh, functionality of this from Enton Power Surge Protector. Uh, if you are in that market for something like this, which if you've got like a average PC setup, you should be, this can get the job done.